Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. We have all been witness to the awful things the liberal mainstream left-wing media has said about the marriage between our President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump. But now a longtime friend of Melania's is speaking out. Melania's childhood friend Vladimir Tomsic revealed that the main thing that keeps President Donald Trump and his wife, First Lady Melania Trump, together is not the way she looks, her class or the way she conducts herself. It's her traditional values, the importance of family, and moral compass. President Trump has revealed in a past interview that the very same day he met Melania he was supposed to meet another supermodel. And when he got to the event that supermodel was actually standing next to Melania, but when he saw and got a chance to talk to Melania, everyone else around them seemed to disappear and they were the only ones left in the room. They then dated exclusively for the next seven years before they tied the knot at a star-studded Palm Beach, Florida wedding which was actually attended by most of the political hacks who today call President Trump a racist, Hitler, and a dictator. Back in 2005, no one would have ever dreamed that Donald Trump would someday be taking on the Clinton machine and beating it to a pulp. A year later in 2006, Baron Trump, the couple's only child together, was born. Via Biography First Lady Melania Trump is the wife of Donald Trump, the 45th President of the United States. Who is Melania Trump? Born on April 26, 1970, First Lady Melania Trump is a former model and the third wife of U.S. President, real estate billionaire and former reality TV star Donald Trump. Early Life Melania Trump, born Melania Neves, Germanized the Melania Nos was born on April 26, 1970, in Novo Mesto, Slovenia, then part of communist Yugoslavia. Her father was a car dealer and her mother was a designer for children's clothing. She grew up in a Mattist home with her younger sister and later discovered she had an older half-brother, whom her father had from a previous relationship. Modeling Career Trump began modeling at age 16, and two years later she signed on with an agency in Milan. She enrolled at the University of Ljubljana, but dropped out after one year to pursue her modeling career. In her early days of modeling, Trump worked in Milan and Paris, before moving to New York in 1996. There she gained steady work, working with well-known photographers like Patrick de Marchelier and Helmut Newton, and landing covers on magazines such as Harper's Bazaar, Bulgaria, Vanity Fair, Italy, GQ for which she posed nude in January 2000, and the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. Melania Trump Photo Melania Trump attends the 2016 Time 100 Gala at Frederick P. Rose Hall, Jazz at Lincoln Center on April 26, 2016 in New York City. Photo by Mark Sagliaco, Getty Images. Marriage to Donald Trump Melania met her future husband Donald Trump at a New York fashion party in 1998. Although she first refused to date him, the couple eventually began establishing a relationship and were engaged in 2004. The following year they married in a lavish Palm Beach, Florida, a ceremony, with celebrity attendees including Shaquille O'Neal, Barbara Walters, Kelly Ripa, Matt Lauer, Katie Couric former President Bill Clinton and then New York Senator Hillary Clinton. In 2006, Trump gave birth to Baron William Trump. Their son is husband Donald's fifth child. That same year she also became a U.S. citizen. Presidential Campaign Trail When Donald Trump announced his intentions to make a 2016 presidential bid for the White House, the normally private Melania was pushed into the national spotlight along with her past modeling work, some of which was considered racy. One of the first controversial images that began circulating online was her 2000 British GQ spread that had her lying naked on a fur blanket. The controversy didn't stop there. In July 2016, Melania Trump gave a speech at the Republican National Convention from which some passages were found to be identical to Michelle Obama's 2008 Democratic National Convention speech. Initially claiming she wrote the speech, Trump was lambasted by the media and the public for plagiarism. 
Shortly thereafter, Trump staff writer Meredith McKiver took responsibility for the gaffe, claiming she accidentally included part of Obama's speech in Trump's talking points. McKiver issued the following statement explaining what transpired. In working with Melania on her recent First Lady speech, we discussed many people who inspired her and messages she wanted to share with the American people. A person she has always liked is Michelle Obama. Over the phone, she read me some passages from Mrs. Obama's speech as examples. I wrote them down and later included some of the phasing in the draft that ultimately became the final speech. Not long after, more controversy followed. On July 30, 2016, The New York Post published nude photos of a then 25-year-old Melania Trump, including one in which she lay in bed with another woman. Many of the photos were published for a men's French magazine that is no longer in circulation. Discussing the nude photos, Donald told the Post, Melania was one of the most successful models and she did many photo shoots, including for covers in major magazines. This was a picture taken for a European magazine prior to my knowing Melania. In Europe, pictures like this are very fashionable and common. In November, Melania Trump delivered a rare speech on the campaign trail outlining how fighting cyberbullying would be a priority for her if she were to become first lady. We need to teach our youth American values, kindness, honesty, respect, compassion, charity, understanding, cooperation, said Trump. News outlets were quick to point out the irony that her husband was known for his use of the social media platform Twitter to insult opponents. First Lady On November 8, 2016, Donald Trump won the majority of electoral college votes and was elected the 45th President of the United States in a stunning defeat of Hillary Clinton. With her husband's victory, Melania Trump became the first foreign-born U.S. First Lady since Louisa Adams, John Quincy Adams's wife, who was born in London. As Donald Trump prepared for his transition to power, he told reporters that Melania and her son Barron would stay in New York City while he moved into the White House, allowing Barron to finish the year at his private school on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. In June 2017, Melania and Barron finally joined the president in the White House. An early attempt to use the First Lady platform for public good generated attention for the wrong reasons. In September, Melania sent a package of Dr. Seuss books to one deserving school in each state as part of National Reader Book Day. However, the gift was spurned by a Massachusetts elementary school librarian who decried both the selection of her school and the choice of Dr. Seuss as a tired and worn ambassador for children's literature. The First Lady hoped to achieve better results through her passion for combating bullying. In October, she made a surprise visit with Education Secretary Betsy DeVoe to Orchard Lake Middle School in Michigan, as part of the Hash No One Eats Alone initiative. I always believe that you need to treat each other with respect, and kindness and compassion she told the students. The following month, the secret of First Lady was profiled in Vanity Fair. According to the article, it was Melania who pushed the waffling Trump into announcing his candidacy for president, knowing that he would regret the missed opportunity if he didn't. On the flip side, she supposedly never expected to find herself in the White House. This isn't something she wanted and it isn't something he ever thought he'd win, said one longtime friend of the couple. She didn't want this come hell or high water. I don't think she thought it was going to happen. Whether or not she ever intended to live in the White House, the First Lady went all out for her first holiday season as a resident there. She publicly revealed her Christmas decorations on November 27, 2017, showcasing her balsam fir trees draped with icicles and trimmed with glass ornaments emblazoned with the seal of each state and territory. That display reportedly came together with the assistance of 150 volunteers from 29 states. The President, Barron, and I are very excited for our first Christmas in the White House, Melania said in a statement. As with many families across the country, holiday traditions are very important to us. I hope when visiting the People's House this year, visitors will get a sense of being home for the holidays. In 2010, Melania Trump launched a jewelry line, as well as a skincare line.
She has appeared in an Aflac commercial, co-hosted on The View, and appeared on her husband's NBC reality show, Celebrity Apprentice. Multilingual Trump is said to be fluent in the Slovenian, English, French, Serbian and German languages, with other outlets reporting that she speaks Italian, as well. In this nation's history we have never had a first lady with so much class, and as educated at Melania Trump. She is an immigrant and she embodies everything an immigrant should be. She keeps her values but is not afraid to call herself an American. That's how it should be, she came to our great country and never looked back. Please share if you are proud of our first lady. Follow us on Facebook at Freedom Daily. Daily.